What's up? This is War2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 mod review. Today we'll be taking a look at a semi dump truck, plow truck, construction vehicle, a few trailers, and a logging truck. So up first, we'll be taking a look at this DAF XF cab over semi truck. This thing looks amazing. I do like all of the lights on the front. Beacon lights up top has air horns. Now, when you do purchase it, it is color changeable, and there is a variety of cabs and frame options for this. It also does have wheel trucks in the back. We'll hop on the inside. It does have some very cool features, which I really do like. Guys, can see working lights, reverse lights, turn signals. Now you can also raise up the hitch in the back. That's a pretty cool feature that I do not see on many trucks. Goes 55 miles per hour and a lot of lights in the front, which are very realistic. I do like all of those. Two beacon lights. Now you could actually, when you press O, you could uh, turn the wipers on. That's very, very cool. Now on the inside view, very detailed. It has working gauges, shows the turn signals are on, working mirrors, working steering wheel, and an overall very detailed interior view. It looks amazing, and it has a front view, top view, and a reverse camera, which is awesome. We'll take this around, see how this handles. It looks like there's a little bit of body roll. Let me know down below in the comments what types of videos we should do with these trucks. I really do like making epic videos with all of your ideas, so drop any down below in the comments. We'll park this right here in this parking spot, and up next, we'll be taking a look at this dump truck here. It's a pretty cool cab over dump truck. It is color changeable. I do like the off-road style wheels on the truck, and it is a Kamaz. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It looks amazing, and it only tips to the left or right, and it does have a hitch in the back. So we'll hop on the inside, goes 55 miles per hour, working lights, I really do like those lights, all the lights work on this vehicle. Now like I was saying, we'll kind of dump this and take a look at that, that uh, dump bed looks pretty cool now. It does take a little while for it, but overall that looks awesome. You guys can see the lights on the front, and you could add an extra uh, body to it, which is pretty cool. Now on the inside view, very detailed working gauges, working steering wheel, and a lot of detail has been put into the mods lately that have been getting released, so I appreciate all the modders for putting a lot of hard work into these, since mods do take a little while, but these uh, dumb trucks look pretty cool. It does have a little bit of body roll. Other than that, this is one amazing truck. Next up, we'll be taking a look at a Volvo cab over plow truck. This thing looks pretty cool. When you do purchase it, you have to buy each part separately. You have to buy the two plows separate, and you have to buy the uh, salters, sander separate. And this acts as like an IT runner pack uh, mod, which is pretty cool. It does have a lot of lights, and it looks like it does require the... Uh, light add-on mod. So we'll hop on the inside here. It looks very cool. I really do like it. There's a lot of cool features about this. So you guys can see that we can first, uh, we'll check out the lights on it. Lots of lots of lights on the front and the back for plowing at night, which is pretty cool. It does have an LED light bar, which like we're saying needs that. And you guys can see it does have working plow features. You could raise up the plow. You could slide the plow out. I really do like that. That's perfect for clearing really wide roads. And uh, that's awesome. We'll kind of switch over here. Looks like you can, uh, since like we are saying, this is a container. That's pretty cool. You can also add. We'll, we'll kind of switch through. It looks like you could do a few other things. We'll su switch through it again. You could close the cover on the sander. That's awesome. And we'll lower that back down. Next up, you could uh, look at the plow in the front. Raise it up and down. That's also very cool. So we'll take this around. See how this handles. This goes 70 miles per hour. You guys can see that the back axle does turn with the front. And it's a very nice looking Volvo. Now on the inside view, very detailed. Almost like in a Euro truck sim. And it looks pretty cool. No working mirrors. But it has a working steering wheel. We'll be using this truck when winter comes around for clearing all the roads. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a construction vehicle. This is a mini dumper. There are two versions of it. You could get it with a canopy and without. This thing looks pretty cool. I do like the rustic look, and it shows the wear and tear on the equipment. So we'll hop on the inside here. It goes 60 miles per hour, and you guys can dump it. Looks awesome. And it does have a few headlights, no turn signals, but it does work. We'll be using this in some pretty cool videos. It is a pretty realistic speed for a vehicle like this. We'll turn this off, and next up, we'll be taking a look at a trailer pack. 
comes with a low loader and a dump trailer, which is pretty cool. So we'll be using the in-game pickup truck right over here to test out those trailers. I really do like this trailer. It is color changeable, which is pretty cool. You guys can see it looks amazing. When you do press, let's take a look. So if you press X, it will unfold the trailer very fast unfolding, which is pretty cool. And it that looks amazing. Now, it looks like there are no straps on the trailer, which is a little interesting. But you guys can see it does have lights, a beacon light in the back, which is pretty cool. And it just looks amazing. We'll disconnect it. And I mean, that looks pretty cool. So it looks like when I was trying to test out the ramp, we opened up the tailgate. We'll back up here and we'll test out the dump trailer. You guys can see that the dump trailer is pretty small. It does have a, like a hitch in the back. All the lights do work on it, which is pretty cool. And you can unload it. Take a look at that. It has a two hydraulics there. That is awesome. So it is a pretty nice dump trailer. We'll be using it in some cool videos. But up next in the final mod we'll be taking a look at today is this Tatra logging truck. Pretty cool truck. I really do like it a lot. Two beacon lights. It has this logging area with this arm, which is awesome. And it does have a lot of straps, it looks like, which is also a really good feature. So we'll hop on the inside. It was 51 miles per hour. You guys can see it has working lights, everything like that. And uh, before we kind of take a look at the crane, we'll take a look at the inside view. Really nicely done, working mirrors, working steering wheel, and very detailed. Now we'll be taking a look at the crane. Looks like there's a camera view right over here for the crane, and uh, we'll kind of switch over here. It looks like you do press X for the crane stabilizers to come out, which is pretty cool. We'll let those come out. They come out pretty far, and I think that they just lift the truck up just a little. You guys can see that this arm works pretty nicely done. It is a compact vehicle. And you guys can also see it has two beacon lights, which is pretty cool. Now, let's see. It does... We are taking a look at it. It does extend out, which is awesome. It turns all the way around. That's a very, very cool feature. And it extends out. Look at how far that extends. That is very, very far. And that's going to be good so that you could keep the truck in one area and not have to move it. Now, the truck does rock just a little bit when you are fully extended and you are turning back and forth but overall very cool mods the links will be down in the description let me know down below in the comments what types of videos we should do with these thanks for watching have a great day and subscribe for more